does pH, the acid alkaline balance in the body, affect candida or yeast overgrowth? Right, good question. Because quite often we see a very acidic state in the body when uh -huh. candida overgrows. That's very commonly presented with antibiotics, overuse of sugar, caffeine and alcohol, and mm -hmm. too many refined foods and carbohydrates. So it sets up an acidic condition in the body and the candida loves that. When we can alkalinize the body, the easiest way to do that is with vegetables and fruits. Mm -hmm. And there's an old naturopathic remedy called Bueller's broth. You cook down fruits and, uh, not fruits, but vegetables in a pot mm -hmm. until there's, they're basically clear and there's nothing left but a nice, thick, rich broth. That is incredibly alkalinizing for the body. So once the pH is raised, does that help kill off the yeast? Well, it's part of it because you're setting up a scenario that the body doesn't like. Mm -hmm. But candida is pretty tenacious all and right. it needs also, most people who have an active overgrowth, with the exception of babies, they can restore much more readily. But mm -hmm. most people need an antifungal agent, something that can reduce the overpopulation. So it would be a combination, but raising the pH of the body would certainly help. It's certainly a part of the whole picture, yes. And the candida likes an acidic condition. Right, so if we can change that to an alkaline condition, we are at, we're putting the candida in a place it doesn't like to be. Well, that's good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lepistow. My pleasure.